was Jesus based off the Buddha from India. Many Christ mythers believe Jesus did not exist and was plagiarized from early legends, like that of Buddha. Mysticists claim that Buddha was born on December 25th of the Virgin Maya. His birth was attended by wise men and a star of announcement. He was pronounced ruler of the world. His life was threatened by a king who wanted to destroy him. He was of royal lineage. He taught in a temple at age 12. He crushed a serpent's head and was tempted by an evil demon, Mara. He was baptized in water with the spirit of God present. He was a miracle worker and even fed 500 men from a small basket of cakes. He abolished idolatry. His followers were obligated to renounce the world and live in poverty. He glowed during a transfiguration on a mountain, died on a cross, according to some traditions. His tomb was supernaturally opened, where he ascended bodily to Nirvana. He is said to return in the latter days, to return the world to order and judge the dead. So if all these things were true, then what could potentially assert Jesus was a copy of Buddha? But there are several problems with these assertions from mysticists. Before we go through these, we first need to note the first biography of Buddha was not written until the 2nd century AD. So any source of Buddha's legend already postdates Jesus. Obviously the legend of Buddha is older than this, but if one is going to assert Christians stole the legend of Buddha to craft Jesus, they need concrete evidence, not rely on sources that postdate Jesus. Because if there was actually borrowing going on, Christians can just assert it goes in the opposite direction that the legend of Buddha was changed over time. Now Buddha was never said to be born on December 25th, but the eighth day of the fourth lunar month. His mother was named Maya, but so what? There is no evidence the name Mary comes from this. Scholars know Mary comes from the earlier Hebrew name Miriam. Buddha was not born of a virgin. The later Christian author Jerome said this was true, but he is not the most reliable source for the legend of Buddha. Scholar Edward Thomas said, The oldest account of Buddha's ancestry appears to presuppose nothing abnormal about his birth, and merely speaks of him being well-born both on his mother's and father's side of seven generations. According to the later legends, he is born not as other human beings, but in the same way as a universal king. He descends from the Tutsitsa heaven by his own choice, and with this his father is not concerned. This is not properly a virgin birth, but it may be called pathogenetic, that is, Sotodana was not his progenitor. I can find no mention of a star or angels. There were wise men as advisors to Buddha's father, but he was a wealthy king so he would have had them at his disposal. This next one is not true at all. The closest one can find is at his birth. It was said he would have the option of becoming a great ruler or a spiritual leader. This next one is also not true. What the legend actually says is Buddha was prophesied to leave the palace and become a holy man. So his father tried to prevent that from ever happening, and Buddha had to later escape. Buddha was of royal lineage, but this is too vague to form a parallel. There is no mention of Buddha ever teaching in a temple at age 12. The second century biography only suggests the young Buddha was able to learn very quickly. The New Testament never says Jesus crushed the head of a snake. It was later Christian authors who drew this parallel to Genesis 3. And it was a 12th century Hindu scholar who said Buddha slew a snake. Buddha was tempted by the demon Mara, but it doesn't compare to the temptation of Jesus. There was no mention of bread, being thrown off a temple, or being offered all the kingdoms of the world. There is no source where Buddha was said to be baptized and no mention he fed 500 from a basket of cakes. And being a miracle worker is far too general to form any parallel. It is not said that Jesus abolished idolatry, but preached against it. Either way, I can find no reference that Buddha did this either. Buddha's followers were called to renounce the world and live in poverty, but Christians were not called to live in poverty in the New Testament. Jesus called people of many different walks of life, and there is no evidence all Christians are supposed to be poor. Yes, some are given that calling, but not all. There is no evidence of a transfiguration on a mount. Buddha was just said to glow because of his enlightenment. There is no tradition that says Buddha died on a cross, or buried in the tomb. Nirvana is not a place one ascends, but a state of being. A late Chinese document says Buddha opened his coffin to speak, 
but then closed it again. Buddha is not said to return. There will be a future enlightened Buddha, but that will be a different person entirely. So once again, like with the other legends and mysticists try, we can easily point out there is no evidence Jesus was just a myth based on Buddha. <laughs>